guys Styles here. Welcome to another video. If you guys are new here, go and subscribe to the channel. Those returning as always, much appreciated. So today for you guys, we got a real quick self mason video. I got some new paper to test out and I'm eager to share with you guys. Also, if you guys are interested, there will be product links below as well as the discount code. 400 degrees, 60 seconds, you know the drill. You guys go enjoy the rest of your day. Shirt, by the way, in case you're interested, it will be a Cricut brand. And if you see my other videos, you know this is the shirt that I use primarily. Anyway, 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Okay, so our press is at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And as always, we'll be using our Cricut shirts today for the sublimation. The paper that we're using today is going to be provided to us by Paper Jacks Inc. There will be links in the description once again, as well as a discount code in case you guys are interested. Three different sizes, eight by three, 11 by seven, 11 and a half by, sorry, 11 by 17, and your 13 by 19. Now this paper does have its own set of instructions here, but I'm gonna use my tried and true method. So we'll see how that turns out for us. And now normally, I only use one particular paper, and so I've never really dealt with many papers, you know. This, you can tell a slight difference from the other paper that I'm used to. It's a bit of a, almost like a texture, almost like a film or a coating. The other side is gonna be a pink, so that's how you know this is the side that goes through the printer. You're gonna print on the non coat or the white side. So how's it going for you guys today? That's what's up. Myself, you know, as per usual, I can't complain. Just being a dope individual. <laughs> as always, when dealing with sublimation, I want to have a few items. Your lint brush, this is gonna prevent the blue streaks in your garment. I'm gonna have some butcher paper, parchment paper, copy paper, just no wax paper. I'm gonna have a few different sheets, one for the bottom of the press, if in case you wanna protect your your shirt, depending on what you were pressing before that, sometimes ghosting does a, sometimes ghosting does occur. But we're doing a video. This shirt is not for anyone, so we're not really worried about all of that. For sure, you want to have one for in between the garment. This is going to prevent the bleed through. not going to be perfect once again this is for video purposes I'm really interested to see what this is like because like, like I said you can tell the difference on this paper and what we're looking for for a good paper is going to be the ink release also you want to have your heat tape this is again going to help prevent the ghosting or the shifting of your image. We're gonna go about four fingers down from the collar. Again, I'm not really too concerned about the, the placement of this design really. Just trying to get this video off for you guys. Check out this paper. Again, heat tape. I'm gonna have another piece of butcher paper, parchment paper, etc., etc., to prevent the ghosting or the gassing on top of your platen. Also, this calls for heavy pressure which normally when I do sublimation, I'm usually going like a medium type of pressure. Sometimes too much pressure is too much, but 
we'll see also stay tuned because I'll do another video and we'll use the exact specifications on this paper to see if there's a difference in that as well once again 60 seconds 400 degrees printers jack is the paper links are in the description below as well as the discount code use that you get like 15% off your purchase something like that not bad also each sheet or each pack rather comes with 100 sheets I don't really know the math off the top of my head but it's like 20 sheets per 20 cents per sheet something like that not a bad look now once again what we're looking for is going to be the ink release And yeah, pass the test on the ink release. There is, however, some yellowing on my shirt. I don't know what that's about, but that's for another story. By the way, this is extremely hot. I was gonna get to a more flattering angle, but I've already taken up enough of your time. This is the finished product. Very vibrant indeed. I'm not sure how good the camera's picking that up. But this is definitely some pretty good stuff. If you guys were interested, once again, there is a link in the description below. And as always, this has been Styles. You guys be kind. And I'll catch you on the next one. Once again, Printer's Jack.